Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you my finished object. This is quite a different location. I still didn't find a place in the house to record. Today I'm going to show you my second hat that I knitted. This is Anne's Freckles hat and I'm coming in to you from the past. Uh, so the first hat that I knitted is this one and hopefully you can see it. These are different yarns from my stash. It's just a bit of leftovers here and there. So my design process is to write down on the paper follow my design and knit another one and I knitted another one just to make sure that all the numbers and things are kind of matching and I knitted at this one and I'm bringing it from the past because I thought it would be a perfect gift for my friend and um, obviously that will mean that I won't have it and I still don't have a sample hat which I'm going to knit with these colors and that yarn um, so I'm going to tell you more things about this First, obviously on this channel, I presume there is already a video, so I'm going to post two videos about this hat and a sample hat, um, so the original hat, let's say that way, so let's get into it. So if you're interested in knit this hat, you can have leftovers and you can combine those leftovers from your kind of thicker than DK weight yarn and I used um, iron weight I would say. Um, over here for instance this is this yarn is 195 meters per 100 grams which would be and I still have some leftovers and this yarn is gift and this yarn is Barocco yarn ultra alpaca and we have 198 meters which is 215 yards and it's a 50-50 final packet with Peruvian wool. And it's really, really nice. And it looks like this in a cake. So I thought I need a ribbing. And I knew that for my previous hat, I used 50 grams of drops um, Nepal. And this is 65% wool, 35% alpaca. So as you can see, I'm mixing over here a little bit content of the yarn but we just go for it, 0612, and the yardage is 150 meters per 100 grams. The balls are common in 50 grams, that's enough for the ribbing, you will use it all. And uh, so 50 gram ball is 75 meters, which is 82 yards. So 82 yards, um, that's 50 grams, 100, 164 yards, if you're interested about that. So yeah slightly thicker so i'm going to put a link down below to the patterns paper pattern hopefully there's still a discount going on because if i design something and put it over here for you there is a some discount as hell going on through a limited period of time so definitely check it out and i'm going to put it on so hopefully you can see it this is the yarn i use for the ribbing it's very affordable affordable yarn quite good quality I would say too nothing wrong about this and yeah I really like that so I found three balls I'm going to show you in a sec and I'm going to knit a sample hat with that so all the measurements everything but as a, you know let's play a bit um, the hat is not a color work hat it is a slip stitch method and I thought to pop those babies up a little bit more for this hat you don't have to do it you can stick to one part one yarn if you want to I found this fluff in my stash and it's quite thick uh, the only thing I have over here it says Paula I got it I think in, in a grocery shop one time and feels really really good um, and as you can see if I do this against my hand yeah hopefully you can see it how thick it is so you can if you have any hand spun yarn anything thick and you don't have to have a lot and uh, just to do those bits and it will look beautifully okay so let's put it on there are a few ways of um, wearing the hat you can wear it like this or you can fold it and put it up. And I think it's quite cool. Uh, you can put a pom-pom if you're a pom-pom fan. Um, but if you're not, that's, that's the way to go. And I think it's a perfect thing for gifts. And uh, yeah, that's why I did it, to be honest. So let's take a shot.
So that's how it looks in my head. What needles I use, I started from using US size 7, which is 4.5 millimeter needles uh, on the PNs. I did a crown increase, and once I finished the crown increase, I switched it to circular needles, and still US size 7, 4.5 millimeters, and it was kind of tight to knit, but it expands, you know, like it, it looks tiny but it's not. And then to knit a ribbing, I changed the needle size to US size six, which is 4.5 millimeters. And as you may feel and heard in regards to this hat, the yarn that was thinner, I knitted on thicker needles and the thicker yarn, I knitted on thinner needles. The hat pattern comes with three sizes. We have child size, adult one, and adult two size. So I knitted adult one <laughs> but if you want to have it more slouchy bigger just go with the bigger size okay i need to pack it okay i need to pack it and i hope my friend is going to like it okay if you have any questions please leave comments down below let me know how do you like this hat what kind of hats have you knitted so far or which are your favorite one have you ever knitted a hat knitting from the top down and uh, straight away probably you're thinking how did I finish this hat and just to let you know I use tubular bind off and if you have never done that before you can practice the smaller things like socks and there is a tutorial um, on my channel so maybe I'll put it at the end over here how to do a tubular bind off just for you to know. Bye! <laughs> I probably forgot about something but it's a quick one and probably have enough for Another body like this with a different ribbing.